Basically, uh, the act that if you cannot have a leader within 28 days, it will trigger a Scottish election. Right. Therefore, if there is a Scottish election and a majority of yes MSPs have been elected in, then that would be counted as a yes vote for independence and negotiations could start. If Westminster still refuse, then the United Nations can be brought in. Right, Very right. Simple. Very interesting, yes, absolutely. Because, of course, we should never really have been in that in the first place. That was all manipulation. Well, well it depends. I mean, we have to wait and see what happens if they are in the 28 days or not. The, I think it gets hard if we get a new leader voted in and they don't go down that road and then they wait to the general election. The country can't wait. But Scotland cannot wait until the general election. And we do know that the, the Labour are going to have a massive landslide victory like they did with Tony Blair. But like when Labour got in, Scotty, you'll know from your uh, younger days, if you don't let me say Labour are not the party what they used to be, especially when Tony Blair got into power. Well, I remember driving back from Sheffield to Edinburgh on mm. the uh, dawning of the 1st of May, was it 1997? Yeah. And um, as, I, as I drove back, uh, I saw that John Major was being kind of given the cold shoulder and Tony Blair was going heading to the palace to meet the Queen. Mm -hmm. And I mm -hmm. thought to myself, the game's up. Because mm -hmm. Tony Blair, I mean, Tony Blair's a very smart guy. Let's not kid ourselves. But, mm -hmm. um, you know, the, he knew that Labour were unelectable. This country doesn't like Labour governments. It never has. And mm -hmm. uh, he knew that he had to have a fairly right of centre version of Labour mm -hmm. and call old mm -hmm. Labour new Labour. And that's why him and Brown sort of didn't really see eye to eye because Brown was an old Labour guy. Yeah. 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 And, and John Smith, remember John Smith had just died. And, yes, yes. And Blair, yes. Got, uh, Blair got parachuted in there. Yeah. Otherwise, it might have been a different story. Yeah. Well, I think with Keir Starmer, he's going to be pushing that Labour Party more to the right and I think a lot of people will see that so I like it or lump it we're not going to see much of a difference you know when it comes January 24 then your right to protest will be thrown out the window your right to strike which is a basic human right to get better wages to improve your, your living conditions that's going to be made illegal you know and don't catch yourselves because Labour although maybe the party of the unions they are not going to be changing all that. No. They can't change that because the the right wing media, as you know, will start to hound Labour if they start moving towards the left. And the establishment, the people, the powers that be, does not want the country to go down that road. If you look at Jeremy Corbyn, he was a, a traditional Labour man, and the powers that be did not want him in power. Well, so no, that, they so absolutely he, smashed him out the road, the media, because he was very close to being elected, if you think about it. Mm -hmm. You know, well, I mean, Je Jeremy Corbyn was very close to being in power. Now, I'm no lefty, as you know, but, yeah. um, you know, I mean, he, he would certainly have shaken things up in a much healthier way than we did with, uh, you know, the, the, the shower that we got in.